is the Jimny and it is a very unique Maruti Suzuki car because this is the most rugged Maruti Suzuki car. This is also the most capable Maruti Suzuki car but unfortunately this is also the least selling Maruti Suzuki car. Obviously I'm not factoring in the Toyota Innova High Cross with the Suzuki logo but I've been living with this car since quite a few months now. It's my daily driver. I love it but I've also figured out what are the reasons why the Jimny is not selling? And in this video, I'm going to be telling you 13 reasons or 13 things which could be better with the Jimny. But why 13? 13 is an unlucky number or so they say. But this car has been kind of unlucky or rather the sales of this car have been kind of unlucky for Maruti Suzuki because it's not sold in the numbers it deserves to. Anyways, let's start the video with 13 things I don't like about the Maruti Suzuki Jimny. But I love this car. Starting with the first one, it's the gearbox. It's horribly rubbery and fails to slot into gears at times which can get very frustrating. While the automatic is slow and an old school 4 speed unit, at least it works. Unlike the manual which I have here, that can leave me stranded with first and reverse taking way too much effort and luck to slot into. Next up is the reverse parking camera. The resolution is poor and it's not even pointing where it should. Seems like 360p to me. Since I drive this car daily, I get quite frustrated with the lack of storage spaces because the door pockets are super slim and there is no space to keep a phone in the center console. I end up keeping it on one of the seats. Which brings me to the rear seats, which irritatingly ring the seatbelt reminder even when no one is seated behind. Maruti has input load sensors on the rear seats, so every time you turn on the car, you're going to hear the seatbelt warning sound for a full 2 minutes. Yes, that's 120 seconds. It's very annoying. The Jimny misses out on USB-C ports, which seems baffling in 2024. Who uses USB-A anymore anyways? Then there is the engine. It simply lacks grunt. Doesn't excite in any way. Simply put, the Jimny is a very, very, very slow car. And that is the problem when you go off-road because it loses momentum very quickly. Which is further amplified by the ESP system which is too intrusive because even when you turn it off, it turns back on at 40 km per hour, cutting down power and bogging the car down. Which in spite of lacking in performance, also has a drinking habit. Fuel efficiency is quite poor with single digit numbers if you drive with some enthusiasm, reaching 10 to 12 km per litre with a light foot. Then there is the size. The Jimny is Chintu Mintu because it's a K car in Japan and even though it's an off-roader, it completely lacks road presence. But in spite of being small, there is no benefit when it comes to maneuverability because the turning radius is too much for a car of the Jimny's footprint because of the recirculating ball type electric power steering which has been calibrated for off-road driving and not for the urban crawl. But even off-road, there are issues like the ground clearance is less and it tends to scrape on big obstacles. And even the water wading capacity is quite low. That's why you can see water above the bonnet level. Freaked me out at first. So much talk about the Jimny being off-road focused, but it runs on highway tires which offer very little grip when you go mud plunging. As you can see, the car easily got stuck in some slush with no traction from the tires. Lastly, the price is just too high for what's on offer and with the significant discounts being offered by dealers, Maruti Suzuki has just confirmed that the car isn't selling, which doesn't bode well for resale. But in spite of the 13 reasons, there are some things you would quite like about the Jimny like the articulation which is just amazing here. The long travel suspension definitely helps and this car's articulation makes sure that you can take it through the worst of potholes without having to worry at all. Yes, the Jimny's ride quality is very impressive and this SUV rides like a much bigger car, taking the worst of bumps in its stride with authority. By the way, I find the Jimny to be quite funky in this kinetic yellow color which is Maruti's way of not calling bright green as bright green. It's also decently equipped with keyless entry, push button start, a big 9 inch screen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, 6 airbags and the Jimny also happens to be the most affordable car in the world with headlight washers. 
But the biggest USP of the Jimny is that it is authentic, it's rugged, it's real and it has a personality. In a sea of fake SUVs which are front wheel drive jacked up hatchbacks, the Jimny comes across as a real SUV with amazing capabilities. And that's why those 13 reasons become less relevant when you start driving the Jimny in its natural habitat, which is off-road. Don't believe me? Let me show you! So let's turn on the car straight away and I'm going to give you a raw experience of this Jimny. We are in two-wheel drive mode which is basically rear-wheel drive. The Suzuki infotainment system is still loading and wow, I found second. Second can be a bit of a challenge in this car which I will tell you later because the gearbox has been a bit of an issue with me in this particular car because last time when I took it off-road, few of the gears were not working at all and like the first gear would never go in first. So it was a bit of a struggle but now that problem is coming with reverse gear which is a bigger problem because I can take the car out in second but if I have to reverse, what? should I do? There's a lot of water here and we are just going to go splashy splashy because obviously I can, obviously you can do this with a lot of cars. Oh god, the visibility is quite poor and then there is the other problem of traction control becoming quite intrusive in this car so I prefer to shut the traction control off always. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't work. Oh my god, I'm going too fast through this but you can do that because the Jimny is super duper duper capable. Oh yeah. You can absolutely accelerate the way you want. So I'm actually going to take a U-turn from here and show you that the turning radius is crazy actually. Too much of a turning radius, come on. Turn off the traction control. I don't know why the traction control is so intrusive. So traction control off. That is too deep. I can't take the Jimny inside that. Water waiting capacity is not the best, but here I can fly if I want and then it will not slot into second. Yeah, second is too soggy. Now it's slotted into second. I can jump wherever I feel like. Oh yeah, turning radius is quite bad, which means car is sliding a bit down <laughs> but no problem there and okay now first is not slotted now it has so here we straight away climb this the other problem is now this traction control system will automatically turn on at around 40 kilometers per hour and there's some slush here because of the tires the car will get stuck and now i'm stuck because the car will not go into reverse so let's turn off the wipers okay now it's in reverse thank oh no it's uh, it was supposed to be in reverse what happens all of a sudden come on jimny don't disappoint me ah so it's not moving it is supposed to be in reverse the rear camera is activated oh uh, yeah this is a bit of a problem with a lot of jimneys not in not this jimney in particular but i've seen this problem arise in a lot of jimneys because the gears get kind of stuck now finally we are in reverse thankfully yeah gearbox could have been a lot better i'm the person who always likes a manual gearbox but in this instance i am like Nahi bhai, mere ko tum automatic hi de do because i will get into reverse there and here we jump and i get into the throttle and i go sliding uh, you can go oh my god look at the way it turned right now this is traction control on by the way so it does slide quite a bit so i'm just going to turn off traction control see this is the problem sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work the car has a mind of its own and then traction control will automatically at times uh, turn on actually after 40 kilometers per hour it does turn on randomly that's not a great thing here is a bit of a task because ground clearance gets tested and it does scrape here and there and there's some slush where the car got stuck earlier today i had to use some techniques to get it out so tires are really bad and then again we are stuck with the reverse see i'm in reverse because the reverse camera is activated but the car will not reverse ah maruti suzuki is known to make good gearboxes or at least japanese car companies are known to make good gearboxes but this seems to be a very uh, big exception right here okay finally we have found it and there we go <laughs> okay here we go so we're going to go down smoothly and let's try and get to other obstacles now obviously this is very easy that's the reason this car is right now in two wheel drive mode only i don't have to put it into four wheel drive yet but i will have to in some time but you have to be careful now huh? because when you're driving it in two wheel drive now and you put too much throttle or the road conditions are not that great traction control is off the car will slide and do a complete donut as well so yeah you have to be a bit wary of that but here i go powering through everything what a ride what a ride and what a ride and poor visibility and oh my goodness something has broken for sure <laughs> nothing will break actually the jimny is like really very rugged that's the beauty of this car we have stones ahead no problem the jimny glides to the worst without any hesitation whatsoever so much of water spray happening right now now here is the interesting part i am actually going to come down from here which is a cakewalk i can actually turn on downhill assist so i press this button downhill assist is turned on yeah it's blinking right there 
visibility is good but when you're coming through such obstacles now it's not the easiest to see what is below or ahead so a front parking camera would be a boon in this car i remember driving the scorpio in here and it has a front camera so that's a good thing water stream right here now the party is over because we are going to climb something for which we we definitely need four wheel drive so your auto can do all this but beyond this well you need four wheel drive and that's what we have got so just park the car and push it four high and push it further behind we are in four low right now it's engaged because it's showing me and then first gear is not engaging so okay come on engage first gear no 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 come on a uh, second all right uh, we have to just wait i think yeah it is engaged <laughs> into first and off we go so we want to climb this which is a little difficult when you look at it but for the jimny nothing is difficult it's a mountain goat it does everything so easily it's quite uneven if you don't take the right path trust me on this you will end up and i kid you not you will definitely end up scraping the underbelly because ground clearance is not the usp of this car and somehow things are fogging up a bit so we're just going to open the window right now car slows down a lot in four low because obviously the ratios change but then it's super capable in four low which is amazing because that's how it should be right now we are going to climb that same thing we came down going down is easy because gravity is on our side going up is the tough part but in the jimny up or down everything is done effortlessly yeah that is how good this car is i absolutely love driving the jimny for the feel just wish the gearbox was better and i don't like the automatic otherwise i would have been like okay automatic chala lete hain at least you will not get stuck anywhere oh my god wow <laughs> the car absolutely does it so easily now okay little bouncy bouncy here in the ladder frame has this characteristic obviously and then we are going to go down from here which means that i have to keep it a bit slow yeah we going to take it a bit left as well so that i'm not going to touch but i feel i will uh, yeah at times one wheel is off obviously that is expected steering requires a lot of effort yeah a lot of effort now we are in four wheel drive mode not that it matters but i can just spray some water here and there the narrow tracks means that it can just go anywhere you want to take it effortlessly yeah this car is so effortless to drive you can take it wherever you want and oh my god what a jump i think the front bumper scraped the number plate has gone for a toss because <laughs> ground clearance and approach angles are not the best with the long wheel base now the brake over angle has reduced they should have just got the three door version because the three door version it would be super cool but maruti was like no we will not do this thing again what we did with the zen carbon and i'm just going to get in from here why am i getting in from here because i want to do it my wish my life my rules oh my god i can't see anything but i know there's a big dip on the right never mind jimny so compact now you can take it wherever you want now you guys need to hold on to because there's a big chance that you are going to oh my goodness what is happening yeah jimny can do this very easily <laughs> the traction control esp light is just blinking repeatedly so that is the test of articulation and side incline and what not everything in this car does so beautifully well now when it comes to off road kind of the opposite when it comes to on road because now we are stuck without reverse gear reverse gear where are you ah, i can feel the gears getting grinded every time i get into reverse yeah now we are in reverse i am like almost 100 150 kilometers away from home so i need all the gears today please uh, jimny don't take any of the gear away engine is high revving but you can't do fast shifts because when you do fast shifts it just does not engage yeah right now it just did not engage four wheel drive system so you know it did not engage second gear four wheel drive system is obviously engaged where in four low it has a low range transfer case it has downhill assist hill pull assist it has got a ton of stuff which obviously works in its favor it's getting a bit foggy here but before that let me try to get up from here uh, so there's some traffic right now we're just going to wait for it to clear off and now is the time to actually do some stunts because i can so i'm just going to climb from here oh my god well, you saw the car just spin around <laughs> That is the beauty of driving something which is inherently rear wheel drive. Yeah, this is rear wheel driven primarily, unless until you get into four wheel drive. So I think Mahindra has come. Oh my God, reverse gear! You break my heart. Ah, yeah. Okay, finally. So I'll tell you what happens. Basically, Mahindra has come here and Mahindra has dug up these holes for articulation testing. It does do articulation very well actually, because there's good amount of. 
travel also suspension travel check this out okay check the way this car goes easy peasy no issue at all and obviously a wheel will lift and my goodness i'm all over the place today yeah the car is <laughs> really taking a beating and then you can do the uh, incline and decline tests and all this is a place where ground clearance is a bit of a mess but since we are driving in four lona and since we are in a private testing ground right now let me show you another trick up its sleeve ah yeah so now we will just slow down the car here and i'm going to put it into first gear opening the seat belt because i am off road i'm just going to leave the car in first gear and then you can actually let the car crawl in first gear because obviously four low gives you that benefit and then the sky is so light that it will automatically keep crawling like this talk about self park this is self drive right here it's a very slippery surface right now i was just slipping a bit but that is the jimny for you what a fun car a broken number plate right there and uh, if i want to stop it all i need to do is just press the oh my god i forgot yeah no it will not shut only so i need to jump back in and apply brakes what a fun off road experience if you notice i am at ease driving the jimny off road not worrying about breaking anything because you can afford to break things and then repair them too because of the jimny's price and low cost of parts i actually drive the jimny daily yes this is my daily driver because it's compact in size which means it's easy to park easy to maneuver other than the fact that the steering is a bit of a mess however this car actually has the driving feel i do have a lot of other cars to drive but i prefer to drive the jimny simply because it gives me the joy Had Maruti priced this car right to begin with, it would have sold a lot better. Hopefully, the next-gen Jimny, which, as per me, should come in the next couple of years, addresses these shortcomings because this is a mountain goat. Once you live with the Jimny, you will never turn back. But I will turn back today because I am going to take this car through a water stream right ahead. Okay, some trees. I have to manage that. But the problem is the water is quite deep. It comes all the way till the hood. Oh my God! Look at the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reason I was saying I'll turn back is because I want to take a U-turn and I want to go through this obstacle yet again, turning off traction control because it is such a hindrance. Now I want to put more power so that I don't get stuck there because if the car is at slow speed, water can go in the exhaust. I want to keep the revs high, but this car won't let me do that. Only that is a bit of a problem. I know I have bitched about it a lot in today's video, but I can't get enough of it. So here we go again into the water stream. Oh my God, this is deep, and here we go. Oh my god that is crazy <laughs> By the way I haven't used the word thar even once in this whole video and the Wrangler copy is the reason for the Jimny's poor sales but Maruti won't launch a rear wheel drive version to boost sales because they don't want to dilute the Jimny brand If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it the thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel this car is more capable than the Fortuner for sure I'm so sorry Toyota fanboys I know you're hurt a bit But nobody really takes the Fortuner off-road because it's so expensive, and that's the reason why you need a Jimny because it's cost-effective. And bye. ये fortunate इतनी बड़ी है ना कि लोगों को इतना struggle होता है park करने में. Jimny होती चिंटू मिंटू कहीं भी घुसा दो यार.